Howdy, player. I'm Dayla, and I'm Anne the Phones here at the Warm Kitten Hint Chat. Should you get stuck too long on a puzzle, you can find me in the game's pause menu. Oh, and before I go, on account of tutorials being, like, really boring, I just snuck a help note into Justin's inventory instead. Would you like to see that intro again, or would you rather just jump into the game? One intro coming up. Enjoy your game. Yes, go on, QP43. And then I found him, but with his head. Yes? His head was... It was blown straight off, Doc. Crapotulous. We're looking at a stone-cold killer here, QP43. Yes, stone-cold, Doc. And of course, I'm working on my revenge. Oh, of course. And are you making any progress? Oh yes, I'm closing in on him, Doc. You can be certain of that. Gob gob. Not again, Clout. I've told you a thousand times, this is an all-vegan daycare. You're not allowed to cook rabbits. Go, go, go. Don't try to speak dinosaur, Clout. UK folk just don't have the capacity for it. Oof. And no sulking either. This is a happy all-vegan daycare. Hi, Julia. I think we need to talk. Let me stop you right there. Justin, I have the best news ever. I just took in this beautiful stray cat. Meet Oligarch. Isn't he just the cutest? Oh. Oh? Oh what? Oh. As in, oh, you didn't know I was allergic? Allergic? Really? Yeah. So, if we're serious about this whole moving in together business... This whole moving in together business? Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Mm-hmm. 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 So, I guess it's either me or Oligarch. Your choice, Julia. So, Justin, I heard about you and Julia. I guess she's now out and about, so to speak, eh? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. I see. Maybe I'll run it by her instead. Wait a minute. Is that a dating site? Yeah. I thought maybe I should get a profile up on datamate.com. Stupid idea, though. It just makes me miss her more. All the profiles just remind me that no one compares to her. That's some... Heartbreaking stuff right there, Justin. Peckish for a snack, eh? Yeah. I haven't eaten for days. It's time I snapped out of this thing and got back to living my life again. Starting with sniffing around for some leftovers. At a boy, Justin.
Justin Wack, IT support technician. It has all my personal details on there. Call Julia? Nah, I think we've said all there is to be said at the moment. Gumnastics, the strongest gum in the galaxy. You need lungs of steel to blow any bubbles with it. But when they pop, they pop loud. You know where I could find something to eat? Maybe there's something lurking around inside that fridge. Or maybe in the freezer. I think I might be bitter enough as it is. Hey, that thing has been in there since back in the 90s or something. I really wouldn't touch it if I were you. Looks like a frozen onion pie. I think the bottom is made out of tin foil. It's way too cold to eat. You know, with all these buttery smooth animations around, I don't think I really need it. Forget it. I'm not doing that butter joke again. I'm afraid that thing hasn't worked for a long time. No metal in micro. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't really need an apron to heat up some food. There's something melancholic in the air today. Even the parallaxes look a bit dreary. I sure don't expect this tinfoil bottom to cause any problem in the microwave or anything. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all here at the office, Justin. What the? Ay caramba! I guess mouldy onions from the 90s combined with tin and microwaves makes for one heck of a cocktail. I really must insist you do something about this mess of yours, Justin. Hmm. Got something specific in mind? Well, I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Maybe just wipe it off with a towel or something. Wipe it off with a towel? I'm pretty sure it's not a soup stain, Reefs. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Can't say that I have. And I would agree this is probably one of your biggest mess-ups yet. I ain't no expert, but I'd say it's some kind of portal thingy. Brilliant. Okay, let's do this. I have decided to go and have a quick look around for that onion pie. If, for some reason, I don't make it back, tell Julia I went off on this great adventure. No need to mention the onion pie, though. Sure, I'll take care of Julia. Should anything go wrong, Scout's honor. Maybe it's... when am I? Yep, very mysterious. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it's watching me. Uh, hello there. Sorry to interrupt. You haven't seen any onion pies around, have you? I guess whoever is in there isn't very keen to talk, or is already munching away on that pie. Not sure how to open it. I bet it's done from some other place. 
the bugs seem attracted to that sticky wet sap. Not to be squeamish or anything, but there's way too many bugs around for me to go sticking my hand in there. Hey! Wait! Was that a caveman? Holy crap! I'm stuck in this place! <gasps> and now to bag myself another time, Traveller. I'll be real slick about it, too. Hey, time traveller, or should I say, Justin? Uh, yeah? I've been expecting you. Really? Mm-hmm. It took me many days of hard work to get things ready for your arrival. Well, sorry to cause you so much trouble. Oh, you will be sorry. Where I come from, we don't take kindly to unauthorized time travellers. No, sir. Uh, where did you say you come from? I come from the future. Well, I guess technically so do you at the moment, having just travelled back in time and all. But I'm from the real future. A future that would seem futuristic even to you. Man, I am already slightly confused. This isn't going to be super confusing, right? Not really, no. I didn't really mean to travel back in time, you know. Hey, save it for the interrogation session. Interrogation session? Oh, don't jinx it. I got a real dramatic segue right at the end of this conversation. Oh, I see. I can't wait. What did you say your name was? I didn't. We agents are sly like that. Agents? Indeed. A special agent of the Pythonic Empire. Sounds like a cool organization. Where do I sign up? Uh, it doesn't work like that. You don't sign up to become a special agent of the Pythonic Empire. You have to be created in one of the Pythonic factories. Pythonic? I just like saying the word. I noticed. Well, it was nice to meet you in all, but... Nice? Meeting a Pythonic agent? I'll tell you what you're about to meet next. What? Your untimely demise. Hmm. So I know that's probably not meant for me, but I've got to say, that coffee smells great. Silence, prisoner. This is no coffee shop, and I sure ain't no barista bot. Though I'm often told I make an excellent brew. Okay, here's how it's gonna go down, time traveler. First, I'll power up the Interatron 300. Then we'll have our little session. And then... My untimely demise? Bingo! It's actually holding the keys in its mouth. What a tease! Yeah, I'm gonna need a key or something to open it. I can't reach it from here. It's still not fully powered up. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Pythonic Agent, sir! <sighs> you do not yoo-hoo an agent of the Pythonic Empire. Pythonic? Yes, Pythonic. I kinda like saying that. Pythonic. Don't it. Don't suppose you could just let me out of here? You suppose you're right. When I track down time travelers, I do things by the book. Incarcerate, interrogate, liquidate. 
Ai caramba! Ai caramba, is your right. So, what do agents of the Pythonic Empire do for fun? Well, we're all big fans of Agent Ruthless. Who? Agent Ruthless, he's a huge star back in my time. Has his own show on Netflix and everything. Would you like to have your own show too? Would I? I mean... Do you think I've got what it takes in terms of ruthlessness, I mean? Actually, that's a good point. You don't seem very ruthless to me. Bah! Just you wait until after our interrogation session. I'll show you the true meaning of ruthlessness. Ay caramba! Ay caramba is right. Well, thanks for the chat. Yes, yes, very nice. It reads, MT-36's Secret Interrogation Dungeon. No secret interrogation chamber is complete without the aroma of fresh coffee. I can't reach you from here. Psst. E excuse me, Mr. Caveman, sir. Maybe the cavemen haven't learned to communicate using language yet. Silence! There will be no interaction between you and your accomplice. Accomplice? I've never seen that guy before. Really? Because according to the chronology, a caveman was supposed to travel to your time. I caught that big guy just before you showed up, thinking he was the one. Hmm, I guess the real caveman must have escaped through the portal. I'm gonna have to send another agent to track him down. Gee, I wonder what that guy is doing in my office right now. Oh, so you don't speak the lingo, huh? No worries, big fella. Your predecessor never said much of interest anyway. Welcome to the crew, my fuzzy-looking friend. Yeah, if you're looking for a conversation, maybe learn how to actually talk first, old boy. Gob, gob. <laughs> gob, go. Well, hi there, my scruffy looking friend. Welcome to Convo Lift 200 from the company that brings you both elevation and uplifting conversation. Which floor would you like to go to? Go, go, go. Voice commands must be specified in English, please. Go, go.
Eureka! I think I've got this English thing now. Now that I can finally express myself, there's no way that this caveman is ever going back to those weird dinosaurs back in my own time. Hey, Justin. Cavemen? Coexisting with dinosaurs? What are you on about? Whoa. You really let yourself go there, Justin. I mean, I know you've been missing Julia a lot, but like... Julia? Still can't stop thinking about her, huh? Well, I might actually have some good news for you. So here's the thing. I've been thinking a lot about the concept of time lately. It's like, there's really no reason you should feel sad about Julia. Not if you consider the grand scheme of things. Go on. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not important who's feeling what or who's seeing whom at any particular time. Oh? Mm-hmm. You see, even if you guys had stayed together for the rest of your lives, your lives would only have added up to this teeny weeny bit of time in the grand scheme of things anyway. So, any couple of any species breaking up or staying together turns out to be, well, a statistical non-issue, really. In the grand scheme of things? Right. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. I used to cover my privates with these. They're big blocks of some kind of pixelated matter. Things look fuzzy through them. It's a roll of sticky tape. Hmm. Black, empty. Cyan, empty. Magenta, empty. Yellow, empty. It reads, Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Come back to Justin, the one to put your trust in. Pretty powerful stuff. A lady with blue hair? Ding dong. It's a website called dateandmate.com. Whoever owns this computer has created a profile called G. Threepwood. Not much of a profile text, it just reads, Yeah, so I like a load of stuff, I guess. Like the band Rush are really cool. There's no profile picture either. Sure, I'll come up with some snazzy profile text. Just give me a minute. Okay, so I don't mean to brag or anything, but the profile text came out pretty, pretty good. All that remains now is a profile photo. And while this apron is better than my old pixels, I think I'm gonna need something more snazzy to do the profile justice. The G. Threepwood dating site profile. If pushed, I would describe the profile text as very strong. Still needs a profile photo, though. Anybody there? What's up, Justin? What are you doing back there? Well, I'm working. Okay. You got me. I should be working on getting that stupid AI lift replaced with a traditional one. But I'm actually watching Airplane again. I know, I know. I remember the intervention. No Leslie Nielsen during work hours. So whose cubicle is this? Well, it's yours, Justin. I believe you were setting up a new account on that dating site. Right, the dating site. Well, thanks for the chat. See you around, Justin. And it might be time you got a haircut and some clothes. One says, ask about what kind of stuff Julia is into, real smooth like, signed reefs. It says, put up to do board. There's no color gizmo in it. It reads, this thing is infected with some serious viruses. Don't touch. Some sort of computer slot thingy. You're standing in a hall. You hear a kind of scary noise to the west. There are footsteps approaching from the north. 
There's a chicken in here. You, halt chicken. Chicken, are you the slayer of this here egg layer? You, alas, I lack the knowledge of self. Chicken, then peck you to death is what I shall do. Your quest is over. Scruff boy, which floor would you like to go to? Take me to the top. There's no holding this caveman back. If you could please state your command in a less melodramatic way. Bottom floor, please. Bottom floor it is. But first, let's just make sure you truly are an employee here at Mediocre IT. Using an amazing one gazillion megapixel face scan. Facial scan failed. All my megapixels tell me that you do not work here. The weather isn't as sunny as I'm used to, and there's a hint of something melancholic in the air. No metal in micro. People have no sense of adventure. Yuck, I've had one of those before. I'm never sinking my teeth into one of those things again. That thing looks like it hasn't been in working condition for a long time. But I would get all greasy. I'm a civilized caveman now. Hi, friend. I'm Clut. Ah, so you finally grasped verbal communication, huh? That's just swell, Clut. I'm glad that apron doesn't say, kiss the chef. Are you ever done stirring that coffee? Well, I like it just right, you know? Real smooth-like. I like those cufflinks. As do the ladies, Clute. As do the ladies. It's actually a picture of Animal from The Muppet Show. It sends the subliminal signal that under this dashing, civil exterior beats the heart of a savage animal. See you around, Reefs. Mm -hmm. Nice. you, Scruff Boy? Which floor would you like to go to? Take me to the top. There's no holding this caveman back. If you could please state your command in a less melodramatic way. Bottom floor, please. Bottom floor it is. But first, let's just make sure you truly are an employee here at Mediocre IT. Using... A rather limited number of pixels, it seems. Hmm. So I guess that's a face. Ah, whatever, Scruff Boy. Enjoy your ride. Oh, and by the way, someone is on their way up. Someone heavy. And metallic. Heavy? Metallic? Not sure I like the sound of that. Okay, so that caveman should be here somewhere. I'm going to park my caboose right here until he shows. At which point, things will get real dark. And twisted. Dark? Twisted? Crikey. I'm glad that apron doesn't say, kiss the chef. Could you maybe distract that robotic guy in the hall for me? Hmm. 
I take it he's looking for you, eh? I'm afraid so, Reefs. I tell you what, I'm going to do you a solid. By not going over there and telling him about you. You know you're not being very helpful here, Reefs. This is the way. If you need outside help, I would look elsewhere if I were you. See you around, Reefs. Mm-hmm.